Hey, welcome back to Beyond the Screen Outdoors. Uh, been a little while since we got a video out, but uh, we've been busy, and so we just today I wanted to take a little bit of time. A good buddy of mine, Brad, he uh, ordered a Volkortsen 22 pistol, and I just kind of want to give my first impressions on it and uh, shoot a little bit, just kind of break it down for you. Uh, if you guys want and you get a little time. Head on over and check out Brad's channel at Faith Kills Fear. Uh, he puts together a lot of good videos, uh, breaking down some of his builds and different things that he's done over there. So let's dive into this Volkortsen and pistol. Uh, first off, just looking at it, aesthetically pleasing. It's a nice gun, uh, very well balanced. I like the black and the gold, always have. It's just a, it, in the hand, it feels great. Super nice pistol. Uh, one of the things that I really like about Volkortsen, well, what they've done is this uh, system that they have to keep their muzzle brakes in place and to keep their threads protected. So this piece threads on, everything else stays still, and they, they send a little tool that pops into these holes and uh, so you can tighten that down, break it loose. One of the things that uh, we get to do around here, we get to try them out suppressed, threaded. Uh, from our past videos and stuff, we just thoroughly enjoy shooting suppressed. And it's much nicer uh, as far as working with kids and having them around and uh, being able to talk to them while we've got coyotes coming in or teaching them safety whatever it is not having to worry about putting on hearing protection before we shoot but even with this silencer co suppressor on there it doesn't change the balance of this pistol very much uh, this is silencer co's warlock 2 so it is strictly 422 it's quite a bit lighter than their specter uh, but still just does not affect the balance of this gun very much. Very nice. So, I, I like the caulking mechanism on here. Uh, you've got the ambidextrous safeties on either side. you got your slide release on this side. Um, the second thing that I like just from... Uh, just show everybody that we're empty here. The pull on this trigger straight out of the box is absolutely uh, phenomenal. So it's just very, very light, very precise. Allows you to run that trigger pretty quickly, keep things moving. So all in all, right out of the box, uh, able to attach a light, anything you want on the bottom side. If you need to put a red dot on the top, so it's got the different Picatinny rail attachments that you're able to use. Your sights are fully adjustable. Came with a fiber optic front sight. Uh, just very first impression pulling this out of the box is this is going to be a very nice shooting uh, pistol. Uh, like I said, being able to suppress it is something that we enjoy doing. Super nice. So uh, one last thing before we get to shooting this is the the breakdown tear apart for this on the back side underneath your caulking mechanism full courts and has a button allows that to come up right apart so you're able to remove everything rather quickly and be able to service clean do whatever you need to do so Super nice, simple. Front comes detached right off that rail and then it just snaps right back together. Ready to go. So uh, it comes with two mags. Base plate fits really well so that your pinky and you don't feel like it's gonna get pinched or anything as this stuff's moving around keeps on the back side of my hand uh, I've got bigger hands so 
some of the mag extensions that I've shot on other pistols will pinch there. This one covers really well. Like I said, I don't feel like I'm going to get pinched. Uh, straight out of the box, seems like a super nice pistol. So let's shoot a little bit and see what we got. All right, so uh, I put the their Volkortsen's muzzle brake back on. Uh, I'm going to shoot the first five rounds with uh, with those. So I brought my hearing protection here uh, from Brownells, and we'll just run these first five rounds and see how it goes. First five rounds, everything locked back like it was supposed to. Um, shot pretty well. So let me take this off and put the suppressor on and we'll shoot five more. All right, so put that Sound of Coast suppressor back on there. Got five more rounds in the magazine. Here we go. little bit of a difference there in the sound uh, and then just for fun I've got some Gemtech subsonics so I'm gonna load five of those and let's see what happens all right so I've got the Gemtech uh, subsonics loaded in here and here we go super super nice handling gun uh, <laughs> way quiet with that suppressor especially with those subsonics in there uh, man this is a great firing pistol I, I love how easy it is to have it back on target quickly and uh, I've got to take those off and uh, just how nice it really is uh, well Quartzen did an amazing job I really appreciate Brad, Faith Kills Fear, let me shoot this, uh, let me do a quick little review, first thoughts video on it, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys really want a, an amazing shooting 22 pistol, if you're shooting competitions, if you just want something for planking and you don't mind how much money you spend, <laughs> go get one of these. Uh, it does cost more, a little bit more than your normal 22 pistol, but it's a... Uh, definitely worth it in my opinion uh, for the the quality the workmanship the the way that it shoots right out of the box absolutely amazing thanks for watching beyond the screen outdoors like I said go get my buddy at faith kills fear uh, like and a follow he's got some good videos over there of different builds that he's been putting together and different things that he's been doing and as always we appreciate your guys support uh, we appreciate you guys the the likes, the follows, the comments that you leave us and uh, gives us a little bit of stuff to work on and things to come up with new videos. So again, appreciate it, you guys and uh, hope that you're having a great new year and we'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks. Thanks for watching me on the screen outdoors.